warm and sunny and very nice atmosphere in general. So I have to first of all thank the, of course, the organizers for inviting me to, to come here. I haven't been here before, so this is the first time. And I have so far have had several very, very nice and very intense days here. Partly as it was also yesterday. Uh, so I'm, I'm very, very happy to be here. I hope that I can yeah, get the opportunity to get back sometime. Uh, and also, uh, as you can see, I'm, I'm representing several types of, of organizations and, 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 and things. I will speak a bit about them. I, that one? So first of all, I'm actually working more or more like full time at the University Hospital as at the center of what we call for biomedical engineering and radiation physics, which is a center organization for different things. It contains uh, biomedical engineering as, as, as the unit which serves and maintains the all equipment at the hospital, the whole, all in, in general for the whole West of Bottom County Council. So we deal with a lot of instrumentation and other things. But we have also a research and development department, uh, which we'll come back to later. It's called the Department of Biomedical Engineering and Informatics. And th that name is, uh, has been used for many, many years, uh, uh, since it deals with also not only biomedical engineering, it is also with some kind of inf uh, uh, informatic things. So that is why and it's very interesting to be here. But I also uh, have my, my an, uh, academic position at the Department of Public Health and Clinical Medicine at the Umeå University. Sorry, what's happened? That did something wrong? And in particular, I started my career as a researcher in the field of occupational medicine. That is the part. And, uh, but of course, the whole department work with the, the, the environmental as well. But my focus for the, started in the early 70s with occupational health related problems. That was, I was asking about occupational health yesterday as a possible also branch to this climate change. <coughs> that is, so two organization which I will represent when I'm here. But also, in this context, I'm also representing the Swedish Society for, for Biomedical Engineering and Physics, which is a, a federation of, of people working in that field, and particularly dealing with biomedical engineering in general. People working on clinical biomedical engineering, dealing with instrumentation, but also research people you work in at the university which have and it's more like a sister organization is the Swedish Federation of for Medical Informatics. That's a do that. From God from from nothing to maximum. Uh, so what so the Swedish Federation is a sister organization, more or less, to the, to the biomedical engineering group. So, to, uh, uh, so, so I'm also in, involved in that federation, and they are de doing a lot of things also in this particular field of interest. This We'll come back to some more information later on. And I'm also, in this context, representing the county council in general. This is my main employer. Uh, so the, the small outline here, I was having a tough time to get, get myself clear what I would talk about today because I think you, you have heard a lot of things before dealing with this, so not to repeat everything. Once again, you had a workshop also in, in, in Umeå, some of you, so don't repeat too much. Uh, but I will talk about these organizations a little bit of, of, of what they are doing, just briefly. 
I have the, the, the second question there is the, the biomedical engineering and informatics related to e-health. Uh, that was the main question, but I'll see what's happened. And, but I would like to focus on possible, the possibility to, to address and discuss someone, for you to ask questions. Uh, because if I go on going back a little bit, when I was working here at the UMA University, but I started off working in 2001, and my, one of my tasks was there to create a common organization for biomedical engineering and informatics, and also the division that we should say in, improve and, and, and implement what we call telemedicine activities, what we call more like e-health, already 2001. And that's what was also the reason why we took these two different departments together. I mean the biomedical engineering department and the, the IT department, which is two different type of groups of, of, of technical people. They don't look the same, almost. When I, I remember when I started, my first day as a, as a director for the whole unit there, I, on, the, on the right side there was a group of people that were sitting with white coats. On the other side, on the left side, there were people sitting with, you know, the knitted knitwear and, and, and looked very much, much younger. That was the IT people. And bringing those two cultures together was kind of a different, different task get them together and, and that they understand the same language. And I think that is also some of the problems we, we, we see now, even now in these days, when we try to implement, for instance, uh, e-health solutions in general, because they, they sometimes they don't understand each other. So they're also working with different uh, laws and, and, and regulations. Okay. So what about West Bottom County Council. I think some of you have heard it, but you can maybe you can join the repetition. Uh, you have the life and health in West Bottom, which is the, the county, which you have, we have talked about later. And the goals in general, oh, it's too small for me, this thing, is to get better health and equality in health. Good economizing and health promoting workplaces and attractive employers increased influence of citizens increased growth and concerted regional efforts that is the goals and we have a quite ambitious visions, vision which you might that by 2020 West Bottom will have the world's best health and the most healthiest citizens That's a nice, nice vision I guess let us see if we can reach it. <laughs> uh, just to remind you that Sweden is a quite large country in general compared to many countries in, in, in if you consider area. So we are a, a area, large country in area, but we have not so many people. So we are sparsely populated, as you say, at least when we go into the, uh, this part. Ah, sorry. See them in advance. We are living here, and this area up here is where it's mostly populated, and even worse up here. So that was also the original way we were talking about it. We were trying to, to, to implement a telemedicine application from the beginning. <laughs> New thing. That was great. Is it backwards? Oh, yeah. Interesting. Forward. Yes. This one. Yeah. <laughs> well, this was the point. <laughs> oh. So we're coming up here, and we had the ambition to use this technology 
to help us in healthcare. Uh, so we have a small area in Sweden uh, in, in regard to population and, 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 and so forth. Uh, the university hospital, which I'm actually working at, uh, has the primary primary task to. Oh, sorry, boy, 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 boy. To provide uh, qualified medical care, research, and teaching for the, for the whole this region of of. of uh, did you see backwards was that one? So. The University Hospital would like would co cover medical care, specialized medical care for the whole East region. So it's quite a lot, a lot region of Sweden, half half of the area almost. Uh, and that also has raised the question, as we are a region, had a regional responsibility to even have this type of technology for this work, care at distance, diagnostic at distance, also coming from even from the cities along the coast and even in the cities in inlands, not only the sparse areas. So there has been a lot of focus for us to try to establish this type of technology which we can be, be used in this type of projects here. Uh, okay. So the, the, the profile areas for the university hospital uh, in fact, that m many of you may maybe have not seen the hospital from in, re in real life, but uh, there it is. And here we have the university area, which not, is not showed. Uh, but uh, we are actually sitting, having our office in this building, myself and also also when she's working at home, sitting in fact there. So we are located in the center, almost of the of the university hospital. So it's a very nice location for us to be when we are want to, to do this development work. These are the, the profile areas which the county council would like us, especially the university hospital would like us to, to tell uh, to, to show you. But I will not speak about them, but just, just, just to mention them. The University Hospital uh, have also a department which I'm coming from uh, is, have this type of, uh, I, I'm not familiar with this t t type of technology. Uh, so this unit which I'm actually working in consists of, of these people among them, myself, and also I think somewhere here. <laughs> I can't find her, but she is there somewhere, hidden among the faces. Should be anyway. <laughs> oh, there she is. So the university hospital in general has about 5,000 employees, as you have mentioned, and we are an in-house research, uh, and uh, research and development facility. And uh, we can, in the context of this care at distance and e-health, this unit can provide technical state-of-the-art expertise in various of, of areas which are of, of, of interest here. Variable, variable sensor technology for, for capturing activity, physiological data, measurement analysis of, of, uh, of collected data also. It can be COPD data, which have been some of the topics here maybe, false ergonomics and whatever. Measurement analysis of the bioelectrical signals in general. So we can do everything that we can catch from the body, the electric signal, and then we can use it. And also this, we have been working on quite a lot of at, at the later years, is the ICT-based personal system for health monitoring and support. And we do also a lot of other things that can be of use in this context. And you see the staff that we have three, three professors. We have a lot, uh, number of assistant professors and HPhD and some PhD students. And we have three uh, which are actually our own, so to speak, but we have also involved in 22 other external PhD students dealing with this area. Okay, and as this is more like a summary of what we are, what we are dealing with. Uh, this is the 
we call the, the Fier Consult. And the, what have, have you given it in an, in, an, in an English name also? Distant Consult? But you have, I guess you have spoken about this before. Remote, okay. So that is one of the things that we have developed and, and done. And, and this is a, an equipment which has not been shown for, for monitoring activity and general movement and analysis in general, which also can be of use when you are monitoring people.